Hi guys, just a quick update on my custom handbags. Yesterday I shared with you in my video that I had made some tea bag fabric and I'd made a mock-up handbag. So here you go, this is the finished result. So this is my latest handbag made out of tea bag fabric. Now the one that I shared with you yesterday, I run out of fabric. It actually had a pocket in this particular zone. I also made it out of a wool blanket. Well this is literally made out of the fabric paper. This has got no wool blanket in it at all. The stability is marvellous. I think it gives a nice finish just the way it is. So you can see that we've got an innards here. We've got the flap that goes over the top. I've also sewn on my handles and I've kept that as my tea bag fabric all the way through. It's got a short handle, as I've said in the past, I happen to be I happen to be just below five foot, so I'm a little bit of a, a, a short little individual. So and I like my handbags to be able to tuck under my shoulder. So this is my finished bag. So I'm really quite pleased. There's lots more that I can do. Um, you find that with sewing you make mistakes um, and you just learn from them. So this being my little satchel bag, I'm going to move that out the way. Underneath here <clears throat> is more tea bags. Now I started off with some rectangular tea bags. In my case, this is Yorkshire tea. This has got the acrylic wax placed over the top. It's on a cotton fabric calico and it's been machined. And I've glued them down every one and a half inches. This is how this went. And these little tea bags, I then went ahead after I'd made these particular rectangular squares went down and sewed into blocks as if I was doing a bit of quilting. Now underneath here you've got gessoed tea bags and you've got the blocks of tea bags as I've just shared with you. Now the problem is is I've made this wonderful big block but it had started to tear. So what I've done is taken my tissue paper and last night I've glued the entire section with tissue paper. I also revisited, I had some round tea bags, same tissue paper again, but I've hit it with a white gel pen and as you can see we've got some red stitching. Now originally this is how I made um, my journal covers. So I've been revisiting, re-sewing, I've still got to get my gel pen back out again and hit with some of these just to give them some fantastic highlights you just literally go around scribbling with your white pen um, the words here mean nothing they're just literally um, there for decoration and so you can see this is what well, I'm going to pull out that one because my favorite the dogs there um, but you can see this is what I'm up to at present moment I'm not too sure which way I'm going to take it I think the fabric paper um, that you see below is going to be turned into a very large bag but to do that I'm going to have to put some fabric strips down the side Anyway guys, I just wanted to share with you what I've just recently accomplished and at present moment that's where we stand today. Take care guys and I hope to catch up with you soon. Bye bye.